Today, I'm gonna show you guys how we create a T-top looking DJ furniture booth for only $300 and you don't have to make anything. It comes like this. You can slap an LED sign on it like this or leave it plain and clean. I got a couple different options to show you. This is what my DJs rock here at Fusion Sound Lighting. I'm DJ Rick Webb, let's get into it. What's up everyone, we're back at the office today. We're working on some stuff in here, that's for sure. Nice. Today we're looking at how you guys can create that custom furniture DJ booth look without sacrificing actually spending thousands of dollars to get a furniture booth. So right here, I actually have two different versions of what we call our T-top table DJ setup. And the beauty of it is, you get to keep your same road case that you guys have probably built out. You guys know I'm a huge fan on the channel. I built out many road cases for myself and for other DJs. I built out the SC, the Rev 7 case, all that. I love building out DJ booths and you'll see Marcellus is here with his uh, Rain 1 in there where it's got a, basically the laptop arm pops out. It's awesome. And I love having a built-in all ready to go with microphones and everything, road case. It makes things so much easier to set up and break down. And the beauty of this setup is you don't have to remove it. You can leave your awesome custom built DJ case together. You can use it on a table if you're gonna do something different. Like say you're gonna go do a sporting event and you just need a setup on a table. You literally can just use a table. You don't have to sacrifice having it built into a crazy furniture boot. Not to mention the cost. And we'll get into that later in the video, but it is extremely cheap. And a lot of people don't know about these options. So let's go into the components that make up the DJ booth and assemble it. So first off, of course, you have your full build out DJ case. I'm a big fan of the Pro X all blackout cases. It really matches this look really well. You'll see we've got an LED sign right there. That's what is the icing on the cake for the setup. But the main piece of resistance is the actual T-top table. And I got two different options here right now. I'm a bigger fan of the Pro X. This is the one I use, the Pro X. XS DJ, I'll link it down below. All black, it's got nice big wheels on it, big handles. And then this is the Odyssey version of it. So this is the Odyssey T-top table. This is the one Marcellus has. Uh, Pro X has the honeycomb grill on it. Odyssey is nice flat black. Uh, the Odyssey does collapse a little bit tighter than the Pro X, but we've actually had to modify the, the Odyssey to make it work better. Overall, we do recommend the Pro X because it's got the bigger wheels. The Odyssey has these little tiny wheels. Where are they at? I can't even find them. I take that back. It don't even have wheels. So the Odyssey doesn't have wheels. It's been a while since I've looked at the Odyssey. The Odyssey doesn't even have wheels. Pro X has nice big wheels right here. So all you have to do is flip her on its side. Voila. And now, you can wheel it in and out of your events. And then you have the same wheels with the Pro X cases. Again, this is why we love the Pro X cases. Um, both of these cases are the 2U versions. So you'll see inside of them that you can build them out with 2Us. This is Marcellus's with the Rain, and that's the Rev 7 case. So let me put you guys on the tripod and let's set up these booths and show you how they work. All right, so let's go through the T-top tables. Right here we have the Odyssey T-top table. Like I said, there's no wheels on this thing that I know of. I can't find them anywhere on it. I'll have to ask Marcel, but I'm pretty sure there's no wheels. Basically, it works just like a flight case. So on the back side here, we do have a latch. Undo that, undo that, and then this folds out just like so. And I'll turn it so you guys can see the back side here. But yeah, two latches. Pretty easy, I'll show closer up here in a second. Then your tabletop pops up. You lift up on the bottom here for your shelf on both sides. Then you can lay your table down and fold it out. Boom, and now you have a T-top to set up your DJ booth on top of. And you have a built-in shelf with plenty of space to hide anything you have bags related. I love this thing way more than my personal furniture booth for the fact that you can hide all your bags and stuff below. With the Odyssey, the one problem we ran into was actually the tabletop itself. So when you put weight on it, as you guys can see, it butterflies up. You can kind of see it down there. So we actually put in latches on the side here that hold this down so that when you put weight on it now, it doesn't butterfly. That is a problem that we ran into only with the Odyssey. So now let me show you the one we actually recommend, which is the Pro X table. So again, the Pro X table, black honeycomb on the front. You flip it around. We have the same two latches on here. Flip it out. Boom. 
boom. Same thing here, we have another shelf. These are literally identical almost in how they're set up. So there's a shelf on both sides. Pop that down in, flip your L brackets up. Well, I shouldn't have done that first. Put those back down, because I forgot to lift this up. Now put your L brackets up, put it down, fold it out. And as you can see, this one is rock solid. There is no bending on it. And personally, I think it looks better too. So again, this is what we are using to create that furniture style T-top table look without breaking the bank or having to build a custom furniture booth ourselves for cheap. So these are what they are, they're all black. Here's the Odyssey one a little closer up, fully assembled. Again, we had to put these brackets right here that keep that from basically folding up. Uh, you got your handles, matte finish, the shelf right here. You don't have to have the shelf up, it just helps. But this is the, our personal favorite and we actually all, three of our DJs are actually using this exact setup with the Pro X. So that's Marcellus's, both Ralph, Jordan, and Drake, and myself if I need to, like if I can't fit Burfa there into a venue, I take this because it's just so compact and it, it's beautiful. I like this way more. We got the event table, of course, over here. We pretty much have stopped using it all together only because we don't like the branding aspect of it. We're getting into more and more luxury weddings and branding ourselves at our events with FSL is just not in our forte. And also the trust look is just, it's kind of dying off. We kind of like this whole either all black or if they made an all white setup, that'd be cool. But the beauty of the all black is it matches the all black cases. So now let me get these set up on top of these cases so you guys can see the full on look. All right, so again, it's very simple for these booths to work out. So I'm gonna put the Rev7 up on the Pro X because that's what I use. This particular Rev7 case is not built out. The build out version is what Marcellus has. So we'll, we'll show both of them here in a little bit. But basically you just put your uh, DJ controller up on here, position it however you wish, take the lid off. Set the lid off to the side. Now we can set up Marcellus's. There you have it, both booths fully set up, ready to go for the event. Just gotta run a little bit of cabling to the speakers and we're done. Let me take you guys on a little closer look at the setups, but um, as you guys can see, for someone that doesn't know what a DJ furniture booth is, let's also consider that most of our events are low light environments. It's a black tee. It looks just like a furniture booth and it doesn't cost nearly the arm and leg. Now, I want a preference at this point. I am not against furniture booths. I had a bun booth at one point. I have seen all the other options that are out there. Furniture booths are great and they're great for basically changing the presence that we have at events. I love them way more than facades. Don't even get me started on facades. You guys know the video. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out on why I hate facades. I like it when the DJ is showcasing what they're doing and not hiding behind a facade. So the decks are wide open. Let me just show you guys a little bit closer, but I'm not any way, shape or form against the actual podium DJ booths or getting a furniture booth. If you like that look, go for it. But I am running a multi-op DJ company. I have four DJs. We're trying to scale to six to seven this year. We're hiring heavily and outfitting all those guys with like two grand booths is not in the budget, not at all, because all my guys own their own gear. So when I present them with this option, it's great. And also a lot of my guys do club work. And for club work, they can't bring this table in. They, they're gonna take their controller in a case to the club, drop it down, plug it in, ready to go. So this allows the hybrid flexibility of being able to do the club or come do a wedding. So let me take you closer. And we'll get to the icing on the cake with the LED sign on the front. I think that's the icing on the cake that really makes this booth shine. Takes the eye away from maybe the rivets or some of the lesser things that you might not like with this look, say some of the cables on top, etc. But I'm telling you right now, for 90% of the couples and the people we run into, they're never gonna notice or say a word. Only DJs are actually going to notice that this is a DJ controller case on top of a, a thing. 90% of people are not gonna be like, oh, that's not the bun booth, That I don't want that DJ. They don't care what the gear is. They just care that it looks clean. This looks clean. Anyways, here's the Pro X booth. Again, here's my Rev7 case. It is not built out. We'll look at Marcellus's here in a second to see how you build it out with all that. Or you guys can go check out my video where we built out Ralph's Rev7 case. It turned out amazing. But basically, that's how it, it sits on here, ready to go. You run all your cables, you plug it in, 
good to go. Can't get much better than that. Now let's look at Marcellus because it is fully built out and ready to go for the events. He has a rain one in here. That's what he rocks. Basically you got a little power bar back here that's all built in. All of this stuff's plugged in. Has the antennas here for his microphone. He has one wireless mic built in down here. He's got himself a little patch port right here for his PowerCon, XLRs, even a USB to plug in a flash drive, or I think he plugs in sound switch. I'm not entirely sure there, but he's got a spare USB if he needs it. And that is for a wired microphone. So it's all pre-wired. The wires come back here. So he just like kind of runs them up and under and down out the back. So that way it's nice and hidden. Right here's his power con that sits inside of here. The laptop arm is already built in. I love these laptop arms. Go check out my other videos. I built this into my SD case, etc. Basically, this slides off. He can set it in his case like this. Put some padding on it, of course. And then this arm will fold down out of the way and then pops up. Slide this on and he really does bolt it normally right there. And then all of his cables are ready to go right here. One goes to the sound switch, one goes to the controller, and one goes to power his uh, Razer computer that he uses. So pretty much it. I mean, that's the setup, but that's what I'm saying. I'm a huge fan of building out a controller case like this, whether you have one wireless or two wireless. I like two wireless personally. Marcellus rocks the wired for himself and a wireless for his events. It's all personal preference. Build yourself in with a nice power bar. I do like this ADJ Power R Bar 65 because it has a built-in USB hub on it. Pretty cool. And it also has a charger output right here to charge your phone. Helps with making it all nice and slick. You got the power down there, ready to go. That right there is pretty much this the case. And uh, right here is actually his power for his neon sign, which we have right there. So let's go ahead and pop that on the front. And I can basically show you guys the finished product for the booth. All right, so we're on to the piece de resistance, the LED sign. Now, Marcellus says good vibes only. If you guys have seen my furniture booth, Burfa back there, I normally hang a better together sign on there. It's really up to personal preference what you want, but we like having, you know, little fun sayings, nothing brand we don't want to have like fusion sound and lighting on here. Chill Out has one that says like life, love, and happiness, I think is what his says, something like that. A couple of these like good vibes only, the one I have, they're on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. But uh, like show outs, we got custom made for my boy uh, Solsa. So I'll link Matt's Instagram down below. If you DM him, he can basically get you hooked up with any custom neon sign you want. All the custom neon signs that you guys see us using for our events, we get from him. He is our contact there. But it's pretty easy to hang this up here. They're really light, they're acrylic and we use picture hanging command strips. So these are the ones that kind of like are like almost like Velcro on both sides and they like snap together. I'll link them down below as well so you guys see that. But uh, pretty much his is already set up to be in the right orientation. So if I line them up, I just give it a little push on both sides and boom. And then we run this cord. We normally tuck it in. So I got to loosen up his thing up here. And what I'll do is I'll run it right up through here beside the hinge. So that way it's hidden. Then we can just hide the cord right there. So let me get power ran to the booth and then I'll plug it in so you guys can see it. We got it all hooked up. The ones we get off of Amazon, we actually have a little button on it. So we have three settings. We have low, medium, high. So that's the low setting. That's typically what we're running out of most of our events because again, dark at night, but you can go brighter if you're an outdoor event or all the way bright. So that right there is basically the conclusion of the setup. So, so that's the complete setup for what my guys rock at their events to have a clean looking furniture type booth for only $300. That is something I haven't talked about yet. I say $300 because that is how much this Pro X table right here costs. This Pro X T-top table, link down below as of right now, it's actually $299 on Amazon. It's in stock, you can get them. I might even pick up another one because we love these tables. We set up these all the time, corporate events. If we just need a table to do something with, we'll set that up. We're even considering getting them for our ceremony setups because they look cleaner than a just a fold up table with a scrim. It's just our personal opinion. We think these are the best option out there. And I consider it only to be $300 because if you are buying a DJ furniture booth, it doesn't come with any of the DJ hardware or any of the DJ gear. It just comes with the booth. This is our booth, it's $300. And like I said, my favorite part about this setup is it allows for DJ flexibility. If you need to go do a different event where you need to take your controller and set it into a club booth, 
you can. It's already set up, ready to go. If you need to go do a corporate event and you don't have the ability to do something like this, you just take your case, you're good to go. If you imagine any other event that you're doing, say you're just doing a fundraiser and they already got a table for you, you don't have to bring this booth, this T-top table. You can just bring your case, slap it down and ready to go. Even though I would personally prefer to have this booth, it gives you so much flexibility. And that is something that is understated when it comes to DJ furniture booths, is once you put it into that DJ furniture booth, it's in there. If you wanna take it out and go do something else, you're gonna have to like rip it completely out of there or buy a different one. Now, granted, it isn't a built-in case, so if you really just wanted to have the controller, you would have to take it out, but it's so much easier. It is just like, in my opinion, this is what I have been working on and developing for what is the cleanest, best looking DJ setup that allows for the most flexibility for a DJ and practicality when it comes to cost, building, etc. Now, I know a lot of you guys are not huge people when it comes to building stuff and things like that. I built my whole entire furniture booth back there for $200, which with inflation now is probably gonna cost $300, $400 in materials, but you get the idea. If you're handy and you can build a booth, I would recommend building a furniture booth like that. If you're not, or if you just wanna do it faster, I like this. This is so much easier. Like I said, all of my DJs here at Fusion, they rock this setup, every single one of them. I'm the only one that has that booth right there. Would I like to have all my guys with that booth? Yes, but they would all need trailers or big ass vans. This right here, as you saw from the beginning, collapses down, very easy to transport, and all you gotta transport is your DJ case, and this. Now, if you guys want some more information on any of this stuff, I'm gonna link some videos down below for you. I'm gonna link a video on my giant um, Burfa booth back there that I built out, so you guys can go check that out if you wish. I'll also link all of the controller build out videos that I've done. Um, we built out multiple cases now. So this is one of them. I don't think we filmed this one. This one is Marcellus's. It was one that we just kind of did on the side, but it emulates the SC case that I did back there. And then we've also built out the one for Ralph. So you guys can go check out those videos on how we built out these custom, basically all in one DJ controllers that have the mics built into them, the laptop stands built into them, the power, everything's built in, ready to go. All of them have the patch ports, which we really like having on the front now to hide the cables. People talk about how they bump them if they're there. Dude, if you're, if you're DJing this close to the controller, we got problems. When I'm standing here DJing, I have a good six inch gap. People say that they're afraid they're gonna knock them out or whatever, they lock into place. Like power cons lock, XLRs lock into place. That's why they have the push keys. I, I don't see why that's a concern, but some people think that's a concern. Anyways, I am at the point of rambling, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. First video coming to you guys, well, I guess second video, but first video filmed in the new warehouse space. We have a lot of work to go, so keep in touch. We're gonna be, uh, I gotta get all this, all this. This is all of our Christmas light business. All this is what came back from the houses, not even all of it. Um, but all that needs to make its way up there. So we got some pulleys and stuff that we're gonna raise it up to the ceiling. We already are putting some stuff up there. But yeah, starting to get the DJ stuff organized. And uh, this is also the Bow Lighting USA warehouse. We have approximately about 14 pallets of lights coming in that we will be shipping in and out of here. We're moving into having all of our lights for both lighting brought to us here so we can quality check them and get them out to you guys. But uh, this is kind of our repair corner over here. So if you guys do have any issues, if you buy from us, bowflightingusa.com, we have a two-year warranty. We have all the circuit boards, parts, and controllers, and all kinds of stuff, and the know-how, tube stuff to fix anything that you have problems with. Signing off, this is DJ Rick Webb. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of this booth? Would you rock it? Do you like the other options out there as well? I'll also link videos to that. I'll link video to the bun booth that I reviewed um, and all that. So that is what I would consider a poor man's DJ booth, custom DJ booth for $300. You buy the table. If you want to get an LED sign, they normally run a couple hundred bucks, 250-ish. So for $500, you got yourself a collapsible, breakdown, easy to run DJ booth. I love it. Anyways, guys, like the video, comment, down below what you guys think, um, or just in general, drop me a comment, let me know. Hit up squad, if you guys are watching this point, hashtag squad in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram, all that fun stuff. Keep them records spinning. Let me know which video you guys wanna see next in the warehouse. Peace.